Number five, write a balanced molecular equation describing each of the following chemical reactions. And then we have letter A out of the bunch. So for letter A, it tells us that we have solid calcium carbonate is heated and decomposes to solid calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. All right. So we've done tons of problems already talking about how to balance an actual equation, but we have something new here. We have to actually write the molecular equation, and then we have to balance it. So we're going to be focusing more on how to actually write a molecular equation, and then we're just going to balance it at the end. Now, for a molecular equation, there's basically two things that you have to do when you're writing a, a molecular equation. Molecular equations, you have to always give either the elements if they're in their element form or their compounds. You should not be seeing any charges in your molecular equation. So it has to be either coming from its elemental state, if it's just an element by itself, or the full-blown compound. And molecular equations have to involve the actual states of the uh, compound or the element. This is in... That's an ugly color. Okay, cool. The states, what I mean, is literally solid, liquid, or gas. Okay? So, when we're doing these types of problems, just work from left to right. They're saying that we started off with solid calcium carbonate, right? Solid calcium carbonate was heated and decomposed. Decomposed is a type of reaction, right? Decomposition is where you start with one thing and you break down into multiple things, right? So we have to first write down calcium carbonate. Now, this is from chapter two, I think it's chapter two, but you have to know how to form this actual compound. This is coming from your knowledge of the periodic table and the polyatomics, right? Calcium, Ca, is a two plus on the a periodic table, it's in group two. And carbonate is a polyatomic that you have to memorize. Carbonate is CO3 with a two minus charge. Now, when you form this compound, remember you crisscross. So the two comes down here telling you that you need two carbonates. And the two from the carbonate comes down telling you that you need two calciums. But since the numbers are the same, you have to get it into simplified form. I could divide both of them by two, and I would get only one. So in this case, I know that I only need one calcium, and I need one carbonate. So I have the compound. Now I just have to give the state. They told me that it was a solid, so I have to say S. Now there's a reaction. It's decomposing. So when there's a reaction happening, we write that yield sign, right? This means that you're turning your starting material into something else. Let's see what it turned into. Oh, well, it decomposed into solid calcium oxide. So once again, going back to the previous chapters, you have to know how to make this compound. Calcium was a two plus on the periodic table and oxide comes from oxygen, which was a two minus, right? Those go by your group numbers. And do your crisscrossing again. Two goes down here. The other two goes down here, but they're the same number. So I can divide each by two to tell me that I only need one of each. So this would be CaO. Now I just have to incorporate a state. They told me it was a solid. So boom, there you go. And, right, it decomposed into solid calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. So literally, and is plus. Plus carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide, you guys should know, is CO2, right? But this is uh, your covalent compounds where you just call it as you see it. You have one carbon. Di tells you that you have two. So you have two oxygens. So C, O, two. And now you just got to tell me the state. So that's a gas. And voila, that is your molecular equation. However, 
you have to just pay note to if it's balanced or not. Now, we've done tons of problems in which we've done the T, right? Go check out those questions if you guys are really, really, really new to balancing equations. Uh, there's a balancing chemical equation playlist. It's the uh, chapter playlist that you'll see at the end of this video. But now let's just take a step up and let's just see if we can balance without that chart. But if you guys want to do the chart, that's fine with me. Anyway, I don't care just as long as you get the right answer. So now I'm just going to do a quick inversion. Let's see. I have a calcium on this side. I have one. And I have a calcium on this side. I have one. So it looks like the calciums are balanced. Let's go to the next element. I have carbon, one of them. I have carbon, I have one of them. So that's balanced. I have three oxygens on the left side. And then on the right side, I have an oxygen here. That's one. Plus, I have an oxygen here, two of them. So I have one oxygen plus two is three. So I do ba have a balanced amount of oxygen. So we're done. This is your final answer. And that's your balanced molecular equation. You need to balance it. You need to include just your elemental states or your compounds. I don't want to see any charges and make sure to include those states. And guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Give it a thumbs up if it did. And if you want to smash the subscribe button, you could smash it. But if you want to gently tap it, that's fine with me too. Um, but anyway, let's keep going with the questions. And I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.